Hello, people of the internet and fellow tutorial junkies. I've, this is my Let's Play world, and now we've had a lot of requests on how to build this 3x3 spiral door. So today, I want to take a quick look at how you get this thing done. It's a very... It's not too difficult of a build. It's pretty simple, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, and it uh, makes for a very, very cool effect. So let's go ahead and get started. Very quickly, we are here in a creative world, and I just want to give you an idea of the dimensions of this 3x3 spiral door. In width, it is 8 blocks wide. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 blocks wide. And I just destroyed that piston. Oops. Um, in depth, it is 3 blocks wide as the redstone paths. But uh, if you include this front layer of blocks right here, these these are used to hide up the extended piston's arm. So it, you might count that as 4 blocks in, uh, in depth. And and then in height, it goes from here, from this block here, all the way to the top. Uh, these redstone here on the top, which control the two top pistons, it's 10 blocks in height. Or if you include the, uh, the bottom blocks here that the redstone wire is laid on, if you include these blocks, it is 11 blocks in height. All right, to get this build started, what you're going to need is a redstone conductive block. Now, I like to make the inner part of the door a different block than the outside of the door, but that's completely optional, total, totally up to you. A redstone torch, some redstone dust, a redstone repeater, a pressure plate, a bunch of sticky piston, pistons, and then either a slab block or some glowstone. There's a trick that we're going to do in this build uh, that they'll be really handy for. Now the first thing that I'm going to have you do is build the inside, the pretty part of the door. This is the part that everybody's going to be looking at, the, the spiral part. And then uh, from this design here, we're going to actually add a block off the side like this. And this is important that whatever block that you use in the middle, these blocks on the outside are all the same. From here, we're going to be adding all of our sticky pistons. These are what's going to uh, pull these blocks back, which is going to give it the uh, the nice, pretty look that we all have come to love and cherish, and it looks amazing. Um, you need to make sure that the sticky pistons have room to extend out, room for the sticky piston arm, I guess, and then make sure that your sticky pistons are all pointing in the right direction. Wonderful, and now you should have something that looks like this. The next thing I'm gonna have you do may seem a little bit out of order, but I want you to build it in this way so that way, uh, as you are following along and building the three x three spiral door, you'll be able to quickly and easily check to make sure that everything that you're doing is coming together nicely, that uh, like everything is working and that you've got it all, all wired correctly. So we're going to build a couple blocks out or however many in your world that you want uh, your activator pressure plate to be. Um, and then from this bottom torch here, this is, a, this is called a memory latch, um, you're going to add I usually use, this is totally optional, I usually use about eight repeaters um, all set to a four tick delay so I'm just tossing in I think I might have put in I'm gonna use about 10 for this um, perfectly fine again it's totally optional this is completely determined by how long uh, you want your door to stay open so now you can see that as we hit this pressure plate uh, this signal here will be our output uh, it turns off for a given amount of time but then as long as our repeater trail is it will uh, turn back on after that amount of time now to get the wiring started, we're going to be doing this uh, two pistons at a time. The first one here, uh, the bottom two, I want you to add two redstone conductive blocks off the bottom like so, then have a block that would be touching that, and then you're going to need one more block behind it, and then come around to the side like this, and to give you an idea of what we're doing, we're going to stop placing blocks. We're going to bring this uh, redstone trail again from that memory latch up here, add a repeater pointing at that center block with a one tick delay, then throw a piece a redstone down and now you can see that repeater is working and any time that you want to check and make sure that you're building it all properly you can go and touch that pressure plate and remember you're going to need to wait for this redstone uh, the redstone repeater trail to shut off before you can activate it a second time um, but anytime you want to go check on it you just go touch that pressure plate to make sure that you're building it correctly uh, next we're going to spin around to the back and uh, add a 
couple of uh, pieces of redstone dust like this. This is being powered because this repeater is pushing through the block, which this redstone dust is then picking up. Um, and then we're gonna bring it up like this and then place a repeater down behind that one. And now we can touch this uh, pressure plate again. And now you can see, oh, hey, the bottom is done. Very nice. Now let's go ahead and get these side pistons wired up. So for reference, we are looking at the back side of this is the second repeater, this is the first repeater, and there is our memory latch. So off of this top one, I want you to place down two redstone conductive blocks like so, and then under this bottom one, just a single redstone conductive block. That's going to make it a little bit easier as you're trying to line all this stuff up. So then uh, from that redstone trail that we've already got established, come out two blocks, place down some dust, redstone conductive conductive block off the side of that off of, uh, onto a redstone torch and then on top of that torch you're going to place another redstone conductive block so this is two inverter gates or two not gates and that'll get the bottom wired up and again remember you can use that uh, pressure plate at any time if you want to check and make sure it's all been done correctly then what we're going to do is off the side of this second torch so this one should be on um, we're going to place down another redstone well it doesn't have to be redstone conductive at this point but just a block and we're going to start spiraling this up and just like that and then uh, facing obviously facing the pistons we're gonna place a repeater down set to a one tick delay let's go ahead and check it again and looks good very well done now we're going to get the top wired up what I want you to do to make this again easier for you uh, add a little platform around these uh, top two pistons on the same side that we've been expanding out from for all of the rest of the build then I want you to come back down by this repeater that controls the top piston uh, for the side mechanism and go up so that way you've got a block right next to the repeater. Now this is where the slab or the glowstone comes in. You can place a slab like this and then a piece of redstone off the top of it. And now you can see that redstone is being powered by this here, but it's not cutting off the signal uh, from the bottom trail. Um, you can also do that with glowstone, whatever you want to use, it's totally up to you. So then we're going to come off to the side like this and then let's see if I can get that on there just right. Wonderfully done. And then we're going to grow upwards like so, place it here, then we're going to come around like this, place another piece of redstone down, have a redstone repeater. Now this one we're going to have set at a two tick delay, and that'll control the top one. You can see that's now extended. Then we're going to have two repeaters in the middle. It doesn't matter which one, set one of those two repeaters uh, at a two tick delay, and so that way it's got a total of three ticks and then grow off the side and place it like that. Now let's take another look at our door. Wonderful, it's coming together. We've just got the side left to do. For the remaining side, I still find it so much easier to place down the blocks that we need rather than trying to figure it out or get the spacing correct as we go. Um, so add one block underneath that uh, the piston on the side and then add two piston or two blocks off of that top piston. Then we're going to come back down to the very bottom, back to the start of the entire trail that we've been building here. We're going to add a piece uh, or a redstone repeater right here, set that thing to a two tick delay, then we're going to need to place down a alternating series of redstone conductive blocks and redstone torches to the point that we have four and so it looks something like that then what we're going to do is off the side of this second torch so this should be on um, we're going to place down a block like that off the side of the torch and then on that block we're going to put down a repeater make sure it's facing inward at that piston and then set that repeater to a four tick delay then up to the top, we're going to come off this second torch that is currently powered and add a repeater facing the piston at a one tick delay or whatever it is, or the one tick by default. And so from this point, uh, you should be able to push that pressure plate and it should work just fine. You should be completely done. I think that looks fan freaking tabulous. So we'll just come around to the other side. Now this is all optional stuff. If you don't want it to open from the other side, you don't need to build any of this, but I'm just going to show you really nicely, really quickly on what you could do. Say you wanted to have another pressure plate out here. So throw down your pressure, pressure plate, come up off the bottom, 
throw down some redstone redstone dust here make sure that it all works okay that does power it and now you'll be able to take this redstone trail straight through the middle straight through this opening that we've uh, left from before then you'll just be able to take it run it straight up the top of this memory latch is your input so just run it up like so and so now as let's say we walk out beautiful and then remember we need to wait for it we've got to wait for that trail do, 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 do. should be good now we want to go back inside and it looks lovely so you're just going to be able to come in here throw down whatever pretty looking block you want here make it look all nice and nifty and now you can see why we added those extra blocks so as you walk through it see this one doesn't have a piston off of it but it is exposed once the door retracts and then from this side you'll just be able to come again just like so make it look nice and pretty oops uh, make it look nice and pretty this side you're gonna have to build it two blocks in but then you can make this this your wall and take it out from there so that is the build guys thank you thank you thank you for watching my three by three spiral door tutorial i hope you enjoyed the video hey if you did you can like it you can drop a favorite maybe show your friends come back show it off in your multiplayer world speaking of multiplayer worlds or if you do build this i am obsessed with seeing video responses of the stuffs that stuffs that you guys do uh so you watch my stuff all day long but what am i supposed to watch so anyway if you do make one of these make a video response off of this video uh i'm gonna head out now thank you thank you thank you again so much for watching my name is nims and i'll see you next time